12:17. It is getting pretty steamy outside. TJ, I stepped outside about a half hour ago and definitely feels like the air is getting thicker. Humid. Yeah, the humidity is definitely going up and it's only going to feel, you know, that, it's like that kind of humidity you can kind of cut with the Soupy. knife. Yeah, as we go through the uh, next several days mm. and the heat's going to be kind of building as well. In fact, we're looking at the possibility of a heat wave over the next few days. Heat wave is uh, three consecutive days of 90 degree heat or higher and we have that in the forecast uh, for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I don't think we're looking at any records, but it's certainly possible. The records are all in the mid 90s uh, for today. We do have that heat advisory for areas north and west of Providence. And I'm thinking that's mainly limited to like Smithfield, North Smithfield, Woonsocket area. Now tomorrow that all kind of shifts on off to the south and east right into the Providence metro area. Feel like temperatures tomorrow afternoon. Thursday afternoon and Friday afternoon could all be between 95 and 99 degrees. So what should you do to maybe cool off? Maybe go to the beach. A lot of people already doing that today. A lot of people in the water. Uh, in Newport, we're looking at kind of a milky, hazy sunshine. 76 degrees with a wind from the south southwest at 11. There's the dew point, 67. You get above 60, we consider that humid. It, getting into that really humid, humid level right now. It's 84 in Providence, 85 in Smithfield, 86 in Taunton, a little cooler right along the south coast there, 70s and lower 80s. Our threat tracker for today, outside of that extreme northern Rhode Island heat advisory, it's just really warm and humid for today. But tomorrow and right through Friday, hot and humid, feels like temperatures. Providence, especially on off to the north, uh, it'll feel like 95 to 100 degrees. And there could be some air quality alerts being issued over the next several days as well. It does get a little cooler for the upcoming weekend. Satellite radar picture just tracking a few clouds. Had a couple of showers up in upstate New York earlier. They've already fizzled out. High pressure is firmly in control and it's just going to sit here and build and the, the heat will just kind of get trapped underneath and the end result hot and humid stretch of weather here in southern New England and that's what's going to be around right through the end of the week before a cold front finally works its way in. So for today we're expecting temperatures in the Providence area right around 89 a little bit hotter up in northern Rhode Island perhaps in Attleboro low 90s at the coastline a little bit cooler with a southwesterly wind uh, 5 to maybe 15 miles an hour keeping the coastal communities cooler. Now tonight really no relief at all warm and quite humid with overnight low temperatures getting down into the mid 60s and then for tomorrow we're looking at highs around 90 in Providence you factor in a little bit more humidity and it'll feel even worse likely 95 99 degrees at times Providence on off to the north still at the south coast with the wind off the water it'll feel cooler but it'll be muggy Thursday, the official arrival of summer, 4.50 late in the afternoon, and it's certainly going to feel like summer. In fact, uh, here's what we're looking at for Thursday, 92 degrees. Now you factor in the humidity. On Thursday, it'll feel like 97 to 100 degrees Thursday afternoon and still cooler near the south coast. Friday, we're still looking at some hot temperatures and probably the highest of the humidity this week on Friday. And there could be some showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. Then once they're gone, a little bit cooler for the weekend, a warm and still a little humid for Saturday and Sunday with a couple of showers here and there. So definitely starting summer. Feeling like summer. Right on schedule this year. <laughs> All right, thanks, TJ. <laughs> and stories we're working on new tonight coming up on 12 News starting at 4. Learning more details about the Celtic celebration in Boston Friday as the Seas celebrate Banner 18. Then coming up at 5, some brutal heat headed our way. How you can keep yourself and the kids cool. And at 6, back on the Celtics victory train. How Rhode Island is showing pride for one of our own. Head coach Joe Missoula, a brand new champion. Join us for the coverage you can count on tonight starting on 12 News at 4. Still ahead here at noon, how the second